We are amazed by the manipulation skills of Ayanokoji, the main character of the classroom of the Elite series. With his above average intelligence, he can make us amazed by seeing the way he thinks and strategizes. Spoiler alert! This content contains some original storylines from the anime series and light novels. And also this content is only made for educational purposes, and the information in it should not be used for personal gain or harm to others. His ability is not only from his intelligence, but from his communication techniques and skills are just as great. The way he judges people, the way he behaves, and even the way he speaks we know it is a very high technique. And here we will discuss the way he communicates, which eventually becomes manipulation. Before the discussion, you should click like if you like discussions like this, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you can continue content like this. From Ayanokoji's many dialogue scenes, there are many manipulation techniques that Ayanokoji uses, many and varied. There are two things that Ayanokoji uses when he performs his manipulative actions. The first is studying human nature. Ayanokoji understands the basic traits possessed by humans when he has determined his target. He will learn what basic traits his target has. The second is exploitation. After knowing what basic traits his target has, he will exploit it, such as his needs, limits, morality, and weaknesses. This exploitation is used with several techniques, one of which is the technique of exploiting interpersonal relationships. Although there is no specific, exclusive term that refers to this technique, however, several concepts cover aspects of the technique. The first is relationship management. Ayanokoji is very adept at managing relationships with others. Although Ayanokoji is very guarded about his information to others, the way he positions herself towards his friends is extraordinary. He can manage his relationships in such a way that his friends can be used as tools to achieve his goals. Second, utilizing emotions. Ayanokoji often utilizes the emotions of his targets to control them, because Ayanokoji understands the nature and weaknesses of his targets. So it is very easy for Ayanokoji to control the emotions of his targets so that his actions and responses can be predicted, which makes it easier for Ayanokoji to control his target. Third, creating uncertainty. Ayanokoji keeps him profile low. He makes himself not stand out among his classmates. He is very protective of his inside information, even to the point of not showing reactions or emotions. This makes him hard to read and hard to understand, and creates a perception of uncertainty from other people's views. Fourth, the information controller, Ayanokoji tends to be very picky about the information he shares with others. He will only provide information that will be useful in the future. He always organizes the information given and becomes an information controller, which allows him to manipulate others' perceptions of him or a particular situation. Fifth, exploitation of actions and situations. Ayanokoji's analytical skills are extraordinary, making him very adept at strategizing. For example, during the survival exam in the middle of the forest, he was able to create any situation he wanted. For example, when he damaged Ibuki's camera who was spying for Class C, he created a situation where Horikita would become a spy. He created a situation where Horikita would face Ibuki and made Horikita's health deteriorate, which was then used to replace the team leader of his class. So the strategy of Ayanokoji succeeded in making Class D the highest point holder. From this incident, we can see how Ayanokoji set up a scenario to make the situation go according to what he want. Lastly, creating dependency. As we know, during the scene where Karuizawa is being bullied by his friends, Ayanokoji deliberately allowed the incident to reach its climax, the moment when he will enter and start his manipulation action. He created a very complex scenario, he patiently waited for Karuizawa to get to a precarious and cornered state, and then came as a hero to help Karuizawa and asked for a reward, by making Karuizawa his pawn. The way Ayanokoji gives orders to Karuizawa is very mysterious. 
he did not tell the reason why Karuizawa had to do his orders. This mysterious nature makes Karuizawa even more curious and eventually becomes dependent. He is eagerly awaiting orders and news from Ayanokoji. Those are some of the aspects that Ayanokoji uses to manipulate his targets. There are many more techniques that he uses. But keep in mind that Ayanokoji not only relies on his brain intelligence, but also he has an extraordinary physique to perfect his action in manipulating others. An example of this is when Ryuen wanted to become Ayanokoji's accomplice after being defeated in a duel. If you have any other discussions of Ayanokoji's manipulation techniques, please write them in the comments section. I will reply to every comment and we will discuss. And that's our discussion about the manipulation techniques used by Ayanokoji. If you like the content, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Thank you.